So look who's arrived finally in Duckingham Palace. So we met with a lovely Amy this morning. Um, it was quite a sentimental parting really. Um, she probably didn't want to get rid of them and you know understandable but you know they've come to a nice place. They're getting some sun. We did have tarp on here. Tarp didn't work. It just collapsed the frame so we've so taken it off and they need a bit of sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> and we did notice whilst we were up there none of the chicken runs, none of the duck runs had any roofs on. Uh, the only thing that we did see was uh, a chicken run with a piece of netting one side to stop raptors but there doesn't seem to be any sort of, um, even the allotments aren't doing it so we've taken it off for now, they seem much happier, very thirsty, bless them. Uh, we had to pop out to Wilco's and just get a cat and a tray of all things just to give them water for the start but we will be getting them a paddle in pool because I know they like to get their feet wet. Um, so to introduce them, we're not naming all of them, just the drake. So the drake, he is right in the middle. So that one there, that's Moby, Moby Duck. So there's only one drake and the rest are hens. Um, I personally um, absolutely adore this runner at the back with the black splotches, very pretty. Very big. And they're, yeah, they're much bigger than yeah. both of us expected, um, but they all got on quite well in the, <laughs> the cardboard box. It was quite amusing, Walk, you know, uh, taking them back with this, with this enormous yeah, box in the back and all the quacking that they were making and all the noises. And, but the, they pooed so much just on that short journey that the bottom of the box gave out, so I had to bring them down one at a time which was a bit nerve-wracking because of course they try and flap, but I did get hit in the face by a stray wing at one point, but uh, they seem to have settled in. So what we'll do, um, we're going to be getting straw and we'll put straw on the outside and grass cuttings and things that they can then stamp on, they can um, work their way through it and then we just rake that out and we can put it straight onto our beds. What do you think? Great. Because they, now they do, they shit, excuse my language, they shit so they much. Do. But for now we have got some dry leaf material so we'll add some leaf mulch over the top yeah. and keep adding that uh, just yeah. for now until we get the hay and straw. Yeah. So admittedly you want to make it a little bit bigger but their, their actual run that they came from wasn't much bigger than this so you know I think we're okay but I would like to see them roaming a bit more. Yeah. I mean especially the runners. He, she gave me a real run for my money earlier. Yes, you did. I know. Oh, I love the Dalmatian one. Yeah, that's that's one of the Indian runners, and then the other one's pure white. So we've got two Indian runners, I think. Three apple yards. So the apple yards are sort of like the traditional uh, mouflon, light brown colour. They've got some beautiful blue bars on their wings. That's a Swedish black right there. Looks very similar to an Indian runner, but they're a little bit more stout, not so long in the neck really gentle duck. I picked that one up and it just relaxed straight away. So uh, Kate's even fond of them as well. So Swedish Blacks are definitely one of the ones to go for. Um, and they've only just started laying. So uh, yeah. we should start seeing random eggs rolling all over the hill. You're happy. It's, it's a bit surreal. It is very surreal. I never I mean, thought we'd be at this stage quite yet, but there we've we got, are. We've got, we've got duck ducks. food for yeah. 72 hours and then we're going to have to buy in bulk. Yeah. So we're just trying to figure out the best place to get it from. Unfortunately, Pets at Home doesn't sell it anymore. It's on their website and they don't sell it anymore. But so we have got them treats of beans, yeah. broccoli and carrot, so they're loving it. Yeah, they <laughs> like the beans, yeah. Yeah, they like the beans. Look at that. It's nice to see them. They've just relaxed so much. They were very stressed when we first bought them Well, we them left in. them with a good hour just to... Yeah, and actually you know, I think the tarp in that respect was quite good because it just calmed sort of them calmed them down. Yeah. But, um, so, so maybe that's why... Yeah. It, it did get hot in the back. I was a bit worried. Uh, so I got them out as quickly as I could and got them some fresh water and yeah, they seem to be absolutely fine. I'm just going to be keeping an eye on that one runner duck there. It's a bit limpy. But I'm just wondering if that's just from um, transit. Just keep an eye on her. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, thirsty ducks. It's gonna get in. <laughs> You're gonna get in. You're gonna muddy it up even more. The state of that water. You are disgusting. Ooh, packy. Packing order. There is a packing order. Oh, there we are. Wow. So who's at the bottom of the packing order then? Hmm? Yeah, we'll have to watch and see. Earth is going on over I there. Don't know. Wow. Hey, Moby. There's a lot going on. Moby Duck, come this way. 
There he is, just behind the... Uh, I believe this one's called Indy or something like that. Amy um, hatched her. So she's she's oh, a gorgeous you're duck. To get in. Here we go. Yay. So yeah, Duckingham Palace actually has its residence now. Yeah, it does. That was the most surreal thing I've ever had to do. But this is lovely. Just coming down here, and as soon as they saw Kate, they started all calling each other, Good. and all stood up and were waiting, weren't they? Waiting patiently for their water. They're very well behaved. They are. Oh, they're lovely. Yeah, they seem to be eating a bit better now you've broken it up, I think. Uh, yeah. But um, a word of, um, a bit of a plea to anyone, if you have any straw or you have somebody who's giving up their pets and has uh, leftover sawdust, if you've got paper? like any compost greens like uh, cauliflower or kale, and you don't want it just to just be sat in a compost bin. If you could give it to us, we can give it to these guys. So, close carbon cycle. So, if you're living locally or close, you know, just uh, let us know. We can drop it by the gate. Yeah, drop it by the gate. We'll, we'll feed them. Oh, but the main thing now for us is to make sure it's secure. So, we're now going to get some new locks on the gates. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased I built the duck run. I mean, I was, I was quite surprised actually. The duck run, the duck house they had was quite small. Um, but you know, I was quite surprised they, they really do sort of all fit in there. Yeah. Um, so this would be nice for them, I think. But once we let them out, they'll be free ranging all Yeah, the I can't wait to see them actually doing yeah. what they're meant and, to do. And running down to the stream, that would yeah. be good. That would be a good day. Yeah, look forward to that. Oh, here we go. Oh, this runner duck coming towards me is, I think, I, I think I have unfortunately got a bit of a favourite. Yeah. Beautiful colours. Yeah. Oh, confident. There we are. Yeah, Ooh, that's indie though. I think closer. that's, yeah. Oh, bit of a... Got, got their necks tangled. It's like, I want that bit of broccoli <laughs> over there. It seems to be a species thing, isn't it? The different, mm. the apple yards stick together and then the runners all stick together. Yeah. Anyway, this has gone into a very long video. I didn't mean it for it to be this long. Um, but I just wanted to show off our uh, our little ducky paradise. Our new residence. Yeah. On the farm. Happy? Very. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is really high, by the way, guys. This is over... A meter and a half tall so there's no way they can jump out we've got fox proofing all the way around um this is it the start of it for now and then we'll slowly level it up but uh yeah they're getting some they got some shelter from the trees i'm actually quite pleased with where they are because they're not going to be in full sun yeah. ever which is great but they're still going to get some honey duckies hey what do you reckon and it won't get too wet because actually maybe the slope will be helpful. It won't sit That's in it. the earth. It'll yeah. just gently roll That's down it. into the stream. Anyway, oh, I can't stop watching them. They're lush. <laughs> Thank you very much to Amy. Thank you, Amy. For uh, yeah. gifting these ducks. I mean, we, we offered to pay her something. She didn't want it. She just wanted a good home for them. Um, and they are they are beloved pets. So, you know, we, yeah. we promise to take good care of them. Hello. And wow. once the restrictions raise on, uh, on uh, having to keep them in an enclosed area, um, we'll have them actually helping us out on the food forest and on the allotment. So, really yeah, they will have a great life here. We promise that. Um, and of course, if you ever were this way, Amy, you're more than welcome to come and see them. Um, you know, if, if things do improve for you. All right.